Hey guys, we are here today because there's been a lot of chat online about who is the Made in Chelsea King of the Kitchen. I know the One Sun Village cake competition. As you know, I'm an award-winning cake maker after Binky's Barn Dance. You know, you know, in the words of Shania Twain, that doesn't impress me much. So we're basically having a face-off today where we're both baking a cake and we're both going to make a sandwich and we're going to get judges in to decide who is the king. Stevie's cooked me before actually, he actually cooked me a Thai green curry with prawns, which is really good, so um, I'm rooting for Stevie. You know, obviously I've lived with Francis for a while now, so I know he's, he's got skills when it comes to making a sandwich. So here we have 225 grams of a butter, and we're going to just pour in that sugar. We pour in a tiny bit of milk just to loosen it up a bit. Now I've seen Francis' hands close up, and his fingers are a little bit weird. You could say they're like sausage fingers. So I just don't know if he's going to have that delicate touch needed in the kitchen to beat me. I would like to see Stevie crack the eggs with one hand. And as you can see, the eggs are separating and turning into a nice orangey colour. What we want to do is just sieve the flour bit by bit in there. 225 grams, I like. Just going in there as well. If Francis was a cake, he'd be a carrot cake. You put one and a half caps of vanilla, and that's Vanilla extract, very strong, so you don't want to use too much. If Stevie was a cake, he would be very sweet. So I'm just going to put in a little bit. One last thing I sometimes like to do just before I put into the baking tray is a very secret ingredient, it's very personal to me. And it's just, just a couple of tears, really. Okay, let's put, let's put some chocolate in there. So just, you know, get it in there, pour it all in, and it's looking like it's ready for our oven. So remember, we've preheated the oven to 180 degrees, and it cooks in about 25 minutes. Get it in on that top shelf, in the middle of the oven, just to get even heat. And wait for that goodness. Let's get this bad boy out. Perfect. That is looking delish. You can almost, oh no wait, you can smell my tears in there. What we're gonna do is just let that sit out, cool. Now this is where it really heats up because I know that Francois thinks himself as quite the don of the sandwich. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna, we're gonna fry up some of this meat. We've got parma ham, we've got salami, pastrami, ham, beef, chicken, so much. I can see Francis being quite clumsy in the kitchen. I don't know why. Good lesson to learn in the kitchen. Always be careful with your cutting instruments because I just cut my finger. I can't see him being that like smooth. Stevie as a sandwich. I kind of see Stevie as like a cheese, cheese and ham. So I'm going to go straight for this bad boy. Take a little slither off. And then we're going to put the onions in. And the onions will really cook in that that salami fat. Everyone loves a little bit of chicken. Don't want more than that, I don't think, because I've spied the salami already, and I love salami. I don't know about you. Yeah, just get some butter on this bun. A lot of butter, because it's quite dry bread. My least favourite uh, sandwich filling would be spring onions. Onions. Heat onions. Anything from the onion family, actually. Some of these. Lots of different cheeses here. But what I'm trying to make right now, I think cheddar's the only option. Not too much. Again, we don't, we don't want to overindulge in the sandwich. I think we're about ready for this. Look at that. Got some tomatoes here. Let's pick them out. Three, maybe too much. Only two. I'll eat one. And this is my meat option. So I think, and this could be a risk, I'm going to cut it now. I'm going to add a little bit of mayo just for that, you know, that little treat when you have it. But in terms of what's going into my sandwich, I think we're done. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a nice cucumber and lettuce sandwich. So again here we've got some tomatoes, maybe overindulge a little bit more of these tomatoes because there's less going in. So whenever I cut cucumber I like to have it all nice and fine pieces just to give it a bit of a kick. 
And what we're gonna do here is again, start just a little base of butter, nothing too savage. A little bit like that. So what I'm gonna do is have a bed of lettuce starting off our sandwich. Layer on like that, there's a bit of butter. We're gonna hit some feta up. Get a touch of mayo, just that little touch of goodness to make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. And then we have our vegetarian option. Obviously a bit more boring than the meat option, but if you're vegetarian, you probably won't mind. Get that bad boy on top. Squeeze it down so nothing's coming out. Plate it. Trust me, when you try this, absolutely beautiful. Nice little healthy option. If you've got a vegetarian round, go for it. Mind blown. Yeah, not bad. I like that. Okay, good. Oh, there's a massive one in there. I'm just going to take that guy out. Oh my god, ew. There's a lot going on in it. This is what I'm talking about. Mmm. Good. You prefer this one? Um, right, so with the vegetarian sandwiches, this is the winner. I've nearly completely eaten it. Um, but it was kind of like a Greek salad between two slices of bread. The other one lost because because it was disgusting. Now onto the, um, the meat sandwiches. I've had to go with this one right here. Number of reasons. Firstly, just presentation, but also you know, there's a lot more ingredients in here. We've kind of got three different meats. We've got parma ham, we've got some ham, we've got some salami, a little bit of cheese. There's some mayonnaise in there as well, which always is key to a sandwich. This one here, mm -hmm. I quite kind of like the sort of sloppy presentation, but it's just too much salami, and there's and a onion. lot of onion in there. Then onto the cake. Um, Presentation-wise, this one gets an A for effort. Um, but this one has just didn't to be, taste good it, enough. Yeah, that it tasted very it tasted like, really bad. Yeah. <laughs> this one tasted really good. It was like really <laughs> yeah, what? soft and um, yeah. spongy, spongy, and, like, moist at the same time. Yes. Who's who? Um, both these sandwiches were my sandwiches. Pule, come on, brother. But he got the cake. I was rushed in the sandwiches and I didn't have enough ingredients. Thanks. Ingredients. I've got mm -hmm. no did, you take, did you take all the ingredients? No, there was plenty. He did. He went, went there, for there me. There was plenty when I left. Yeah, Blame yourself. Was there wasn't ingredients. enough love that went into your sandwich making, I think. No. You, I think you got a little bit arrogant. But it's interesting how it flipped, because I would have yeah. taken you. I know, it's for the cake man. And I would have sandwiches. So I'm very sad to say that Boule is going to have to crown Stevie. I crown you the Maze and Chelsea Kickoff winner 2013. Can I get some applause, please? Well done. Well done. Well done, well done both of you. Boulay, you're getting back, mate. You're getting back. You're getting back. You're getting back.